Hello, Tim Estrell here, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I just had a long comment on one of my videos about uh, too expensive of pickups. So everything I review is too expensive, crew caps, whatever. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little shopping. I got my coffee cup. I got the websites open. I thought, let's see what the cheapest pickup is today. Cheapest full-size pickup. So I'm going to do a little screencast where I record the screen. And I'm on cars.com because that's one of the bigger sites, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and do some shopping. Let's see where the sales are at and what the best price is. Now, I'm not including incentives. I'm not going to go down the road of incentives and off and payments and lease rates. You can take that and figure that out later. Or maybe uh, if I get enough criticism, <laughs> I will do it in the future. Maybe this will be one episode of none or maybe I do this as a weekly feature just because it's kind of fun. I like going shopping. So let's go shopping for pickups. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, it looks like this thing's recording. So again, I have a screencast of uh, cars.com. I'm doing the shopping there just because it's uh, easy to do. You can do it in your bathrobe or where the heck you feel like wearing in the morning. I got uh, a Ford. I got a Ram. I got a Silverado. I got a Nissan Titan and a Toyota Tundra. Um, we could do GMC as well, but I don't think it's going to be the cheapest because they're doing more of a premium brand. So I got all five of the, the main guys, right? So number one, let's start with the Ford. So I got a 2019 Ford F-150 here. Let me scroll down. Uh, it's an XLT, so it's even the extended cab, and it comes in at nineteen thousand one hundred eighty dollars. And so I think if I even if I go back, I think this is the cheapest one I found. So you can see uh, work truck. We have the lack of chrome. We have the base uh, wheel cap covers. Uh, we have you know it, it's totally base, even in white, the cheapest color you can get as well. And we have some text from the, the from the dealer, whatever. Anyways, we have a gasoline. It's gonna have some cloth interior. It is a four wheel drive, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it's a 2.7 liter V6, that is the uh, baby EcoBoost in a way. Uh, automatic, and um, let's see more details. Uh, yeah, we got four wheel disc brakes, automatic headlights, uh, adjustable steering wheel, power door locks, power mirrors. That's impressive in this, this kind of uh, setup. And so we have a split bench seat, so we're gonna have the bench seat with cloth, stability control, and steering wheel audio control. So. You know, a, a pretty good setup, really. And, oh, it has a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. So, you know, you're looking at uh, AM, FM radio. You're looking at a pretty good deal. Backup camera as well. If we go back to search results. Um, search results, I believe I had this set up right. Let's take a look. And I, I'm, so, so I guess to clarify a few things. I am searching from Denver. Uh, Denver is my nearest town, uh, biggest to me. So I figured that would be giving me the best search results. But this was in... Sunshine Floor Ford Lincoln, which is 1,613 miles. So it's a plane ticket truck, right? You got to fly down and pick it up. Um, and if I go back in my search results, yeah, there's all these 2018s. Which if you're in the mood for it, 2018, this uh, Terrabone Ford, they got a slew of these at around 18. Eight, there it is. They got regular cab, 2018s. Uh, looks like a long bed for about 19,000. That may be six and a half foot, may not be eight foot. They got a slew of these. They must have bought a whole fleet of them and trying to sell them off there, wherever that Terrabone is. Uh, all right, so then going down, you know, the the next one is just an XL for 19380 It's 2018 model. I'll tell you what, this uh, this 19 right there looking pretty good at 19000 So it's cheaper. I get a new model year. And as you scroll down, yeah, you're looking at 19, 19 in the 20s. So that's kind of where you're at. But there's a lot of 2018s. That 19 is the deal of the day in Ford, I believe. I, That's a pretty good deal right there. And so as long as they listed it right. So there's a lot of times dealers don't list this right. And I don't know that I can tell the difference offhand between 18 and 19. That could be an 18 if I were to analyze both of these back to back. So anyways, that's new enough. 18, 19 is coming out. Let's move on to Ram. Ram truck. So we have uh, the feature listing is funny. It's Nissani Brothers. I read it as Nissan initially, so I was confused about where it was. Uh, I thought it was Nissan initially. It's Nissani, Nissani, Nissini. I don't know what it is. Uh, anyways, uh, twenty thousand five hundred forty. That's a twenty eighteen Ram fifteen hundred Tradesman Express. That's regular cab. And then it gets really more expensive. Easily jumps in a twenty nine range up to thirty. And so it's kind of crazy how fast that goes from the base level I found. And again, I'm going from Denver, and I don't really have, I don't think, any sort of range limitations. And when you go up, it's 2018, 28,000, 29,000, 29,000. So let's go look at this featured listing at 20,000. So see if this will open up. All right, here we go. Yep, uh, it's 
Tradesman Express, uh, they're offering 10 grand off on it, so it's got to be incentives figured into this. Uh, rear wheel drive, 8 speed automatic, 3.6 liter V6, 24 valve. I So this is not does not have the e torque engine into it. So this is the older engine, which is still fine. Um, uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff. So uh, price includes uh, $2,700 in 2018 cash, $3,200 in California retail customer cash. So it's California. 1000 bucks in Black Friday bonus. So yeah, they're, they're putting all the deals together and lowering that price. So that's kind of how they're getting away with it. That's the dealer doing that. So uh, let's see what's in the details here. We have uh, ABS, traction control, uh, oh, a clock in radio display. <laughs> uh, coil front, coil rear, rear as typical of RAM. Uh, cruise control, front leg room. Uh, let's see, not a lot of other features. They do less than zero to 60 time, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't know that really matters in a work truck. We have a tilt adjustable steering wheel, tire pressure monitoring system, six speakers, two 12 volt DC power outlets, um, carpet flooring. So we have carpet flooring, uh, driver door bin, should be bench seat. Yep, 40 20 40 split bench seat, uh, AM FM radio, front wheel independent suspension, automatic headlights, media hub, overhead bed, and USB. Yeah, so. So quite a few uh, features, Break backup camera as well is standard, and so those kind of features will drive up the price. So but I, I don't think backup cameras are standard just yet. They're working on it to be Congress. That'll be uh, completely standard equipment these days. So there you go. There There is the one that you can buy today in a Ram. Chevy. Let's go to Chevy. Uh, Chevy Silverado. We have the uh, 2018 model there. 2018, 2018, 2018, 2018. So we got a lot of 2018s. We don't have a lot of 2019s just yet. But these prices are more similar to what we saw with the Ford pricing. So let's see, the 17, 17 890s are best. Yeah, and they do a lot of these funny things. They put like a dollar in to get the lowest. I want to get the lowest thing on there. It's kind of ridiculous. But also, here we go. We have a 2018. Oh, I don't want contact. I want to, I'm want i not contacting dealers. That ain't going to happen. Oh, i got to go down to it again. All right, there we go. Let's click on it. And Chapman Chevrolet has a 2018. Chevrolet Silverado 1500 work truck. Uh, let's look at the pictures. We have, uh, oh yeah, we have some, uh, a little bit of chrome on the grill. That's kind of cool. I uh, usually don't see that in work trucks. Um, we have the step-in bumper, which is really handy. Uh, looks like a longer bed, too. Let's see what size that bed is. We have the steel wheels, which I got to tell you what, these wheels, I like these wheels better than that Ford wheels. Let's look at the Ford wheels again. Yeah, so I mean, for, as far as stock wheels, you know, these are kind of lame. These are better. You can just get the bow tie in there. Ford doesn't even get the... Does it say Ford on there? It may say Ford on there. I don't know if I got a picture of those wheels. No, I don't have a picture of those wheels. Anyways, I like these wheels better. I just like the look of this pickup better, personally. Um, oh, we got some interior photos, too. Uh, yeah, there's there's the interior. We have a big rear view camera for backup camera. Uh, pretty good size control knob there, I think. Uh, we do have the, see that's the bench seat. So there's an LT review on this web on this channel. You can look up, and the LT has this set of setup as well. And Silverado and, and Chrome there. So that's kind of cool. So if we look down, we have it in somewhat white. This is the uh, 4.3 liter. This is the V6. Uh, the well, no, yeah, V6. I believe that is. Um, I could be wrong. I believe it's V6. Maybe V8. No, it is V6. Ecotec V6. Active fuel management. Exterior parking camera rear. Uh, let's see, headrest, airbags, independent suspension on the front, which is very typical of Chevy. Um, it does have the heavy-duty rear locking differential, heavy-duty suspension, so it's got the heavy-duty towing package. Um, low tire pressure, passenger door bend, power door locks, power steering, um, split seat in the front. Uh, it's got smart device integration, that just means it's an app you plug in, uh, integrates that. I believe that's what that is. Uh, traction control trans six speed automatic. We have uh, 17 inch wheels, and uh, yeah, pretty standard equipment there. Uh, work truck preferred package. So, uh, what's interesting is the payment calculator is $342. That's not bad, not bad for pickup. So, there's the Chevy option. I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of liking the Chevy option today. Let's look at the Nissan Titan. So, the Nissan Titan, their base trim is the S grade. And this is like the top one. Uh, let's see. There's this thing that they're listing as SV and has all the stuff. And I don't know what's going on with this paint. And we're going to ignore that one right now. That just looks funky. 
funky, funky. So they're about twenty thousand. Um, you know, so Nissan's got the best warranty out of everybody. So, but let's see if they got the best looking pickup. I like this black one. This black one looks pretty good. So let's take a look. So Titan Nissan Titan S is gonna be okay. So we have nice black. We have a little bit of chrome for the for the logo. Uh, you know, we can do anti-chrome. This is most anti-chrome. I don't know if you're an anti-chrome guy or the chrome guy. This is the deal. Uh, oh, we have the, the Nissan logo on the wheels. I like these wheels. That's a good photo of the wheels, too. You got to do a good job. Interior, um, we have bench seats, as you would expect. It looks like carpet. Um, I like this interior. I, I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, I'd, probably, I want, I'd love to see where the heated steering wheel button is. That's been my criticism of them. And this huge uh, shift knob, shift gauge, shift shifter, shift lever. Lever, I'm trying to say lever. Um, there's your interior controls. Oh, we can almost, maybe we can see. Start, stop, which is nice. Uh, traction control, AC vents. We have a, this is still a, kind of a smaller screen, but doesn't seem, it's not going to matter if you're a work truck guy. Uh, we have a backup camera. That's important. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good picture of it. Big tow haul mode, big thing. It's a big shifter. I'll tell you what, it's a big damn shifter. And, oh, there's the vents. We don't have anything else. So let's go down. Uh, da, 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 da. gasoline 5.6 liter V8. So this is we have the V8. We have the biggest engine you can get um, so far in our listings, and uh, the most horsepower probably I think of that V6. I, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head. A seven-speed automatic, and so we're at twenty thousand dollars, and we have quite a bit of uh, power there. Um, Anti-theft, AM, FM radio, ABS, uh, four-wheel ABS brakes, coil front spring, cruise control, cloth interior, uh, front suspension, double wishbone. Fuel capacity, 26 gallons. I should do a video on how much gallons and see who's got the most. Uh, leaf rear spring, leaf rear suspension, 0 to 60 time. Uh, passenger, side body, style, whatever. Speed sensitive auto control. Speed sensitive audio. that's where the volume turns up and down as you're driving, as you go faster. So if you go faster, it turns up, you go. You drive slower, it goes, turns down. It's kind of cool. Um, not amazingly cool, but cool. Yep, yep, that's about it. Keyless start, Bluetooth. What's our 0395? Because we're at 20,000. Let's go look at Toyota. And uh, let's see. Get rid of the ad here. And so here we go. So Toyota. Uh, oh, we got these these stupid ones. One dollar. One dollar. Yeah, call me now. I'll tell you all about it. That's junk. Uh, we have this really cool Toyota Tundra SR5. See? Looks fantastic, right? Yeah, weirdest SR5 I've ever seen. <laughs> That's a screw up by the dealer. All right. Uh, so let's let's go down here. All right. So that's where's it at? This one. This is this is the best one. So twenty seven thousand nine eighty two. Holy cow! This is the most expensive truck we're looking at. This is the cheapest Toyota Tundra right now. It's a uh, you know this is totally work truck, right? We have the black front, black grill. We have the the terrible wheels. We have the uh, extended cab because they don't make a regular cab anymore. Uh, let's oh we got more pictures. So yeah, we have the uh, um, looks like the air inlet thing. I I've, I've had some jokes about that um but yeah it's i think kind of cool look i like the way the tundra looks and uh so there you go this is a five and a half foot or no six and a half foot bed you can uh, log on now and uh do it now um so there you go there's there's the the rear and oh inside cool so inside we have a uh, bench seat uh, yeah i'd call that a bench seat and there's a bench seat in the rear which i can tell you there's not much room back here um and those do fold up. You see the lever folds them up. So there's the, uh, wow, there's the interior. I think this interior is the best of all of them. We have big knobs, big chrome around. I mean, this is a good looking interior. Um, we have the big, huge shifter, which I don't know. I, it's just like they're overcompensating for something. All right, anyways, uh, there's the interior. So let's go down and look at features. So 27 heavy duty vinyl, the gasoline. This is a 4.6 liter V8. Six speed, so it's a, it's a smaller V8. Uh, adaptive cruise, AM, FM, brake assist, Bluetooth, coil front springs, double wishbone front suspension, D -d 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 -d, front independent suspension, front bench seat, fuel capacity 26.4 gallons, uh, gray leaf spring, 0 to 60 times, 8 seconds. I just don't understand that. Uh, spare tire, speed sensitive, audio volume control, tack, tilt adjustable steering wheel. Do, 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 do. MFM and auto high beam headlights. That's it's a that's interesting. So I like auto high beam headlights. I'm going to talk about this for a second. And I'm and it's what they do is when you turn them on, 
you turn on your high beams, and if somebody's driving towards you, the truck automatically turns them off, and then as the vehicle drives past, it turns them back on. It's impressive that that is making it into the lower trim levels, and it's because Toyota's offering all these uh, features and made them mandatory. So dynamic radar cruise control, that's mandatory now for a lot of Toyota uh, vehicles. Um, and they call it distance pacing cruise control. Huh, interesting. Um, anyways, it's TSS, it's the uh, Toyota Safety Systems, and they're making the standards so that Toyota vehicles are going to be a little more expensive because of that. But you get that, you know, you get that. What's uh, you get those standard features. So you may not want those. You may want the roll-up windows and of um, rubber floor mats, but that's what's happening in Toyota. Backup camera brake control, 535 a month. That's what you're looking at with zero down. So there you go. So I don't know. To me, it's a toss-up today between the 2019 Ford X, F-150 XLT, this guy, which I think this is 18. I don't think it's 19, but anyways. Um, Six-cylinder. But I thought the deal was there's much more. I like the Silverado the way the Silverado looks, and that's the lowest price point because they got tons of uh, incentives, I guess. So there I am. I'm, I lied. I'm totally doing incentives because... They put all their incentives in here, so you have to get all the incentives. So that's a pretty good deal, seventeen thousand. But you know that Titan S uh, with the big V8. I mean, that's that's not bad either at twenty thousand dollars. I think it is. Is it twenty? Yeah, twenty six seventy seven. So the bigger uh, V8, longer warranty. You know, that's that's a, that's quite a deal there. I wonder they're offering like twelve thousand off. So what's the uh, what's the twelve grand off? Um, nope, they don't have any listings there as far as uh, you know what they're offering off. But yeah, that's a. Uh, Twenty grand off or twelve grand off the Nissan. Well, I guess that's thirteen grand off the Chevy. A lot of money in the hood. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is off. Um, then the Ram Tradesman uh, is about ten grand off. So there you go. There you go. So you can buy a pickup for twenty thousand dollars. Let's see the tight. Uh, oh, the Tundra had uh, a lot. Yeah, Tundra's only got oh five thousand dollars off. So there you go. Thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, make sure you uh, comment below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Maybe this is a weekly thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe we uh, do a live stream. We go truck shopping together. It'd be awesome, I think. I don't know. We'll try it. Send me a uh, hate mail at timatpickuptrucktalk.com. Comment below. Hit subscribe if you want to watch more of this stuff. Crazy thoughts I do. I just kind of came up with the top of my head. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.